Hello YouTube, welcome to this short video. This is just to show a solution that I use for when you're playing Call of Duty uh, Warzone and you press the Windows key in the middle of a game and the thing just crashes out. I was having this problem for ages, I was playing the game, you know, it, it, even though it's a reasonably high spec PC, I hit that Windows key either by accident or I needed to go check some settings on my computer and lo and behold the thing crashes. So the solution I'm going to show to you here is um, one that I've used, one that I found works very well, it's really simple to apply um, so we'll just run through it here now so as we see here in my uh, blizzard browser this is the call of duty warzone the one thing you will need to know before we start is where that is installed more than likely you're getting this error if you have this game installed in an external hard drive or an external drive on your uh, built into your pc for example here with my installation i have it installed in my d drive so that's the only piece of information i need to know going into this um, so let's just kick off Warzone here just to... Now, I've already applied the uh, solution here, so it's not going to crash. But um, I'll just show you with the game up and running and pressing the Windows key to get back to you know, the main desktop. No issues at all. Um, so the game is just kicking off here. As I said, we've already established that the game is installed on the D drive. I will do some quick editing here just to bring us forward to where the game has actually started okay now we see here um war zone uh, up and running and normally when i used to play you know in game or in the menus i hit the windows key and the game would just crash but now there's no issue at all i can get to my screen um my windows you know options if i wanted to check some settings or if i accidentally pressed it i can run programs in the background it's all fine the game generally doesn't crash so we'll run through the solution here now uh, or the quick fix that i've uh, applied to get this to work right so let's just um quit the desktop okay we're now back in the desktop so the first thing you want to do is open up your uh, this pc uh, explorer uh, window so you can either double click on this pc or press the windows and e key together this brings up the uh, dialog box you see here uh, then we want to right click on this pc and go to properties from there on the right hand side where it says related settings you're going to look for something called advanced system settings so click on that that'll bring up the system properties a smaller window here which has the computer name hardware advanced system protection and remote tabs the tab we're interested in is advanced so from within the system properties it advanced and below that then we have the performance heading that's where we're looking to get to so from within performance we want to click uh, settings and that'll then bring up performance options and then we go advanced once more but this is where we um this is where we want to be and what we're going to change now is the virtual memory settings so the virtual memory basically offloads some of the work of the ram especially if it's getting full or it's very busy with intensive tasks uh, the page file here can help a little bit so where it says virtual memory on this page you want to click on change so initially if you haven't applied this fix already you're going to have the automatically managed paging file size for all drives ticked what you want to do is untick that box so it'll be originally ticked you need to untick it this will allow you to select the drive letters underneath to for where the game is installed this is why we needed to know where the game was installed for example i know it's on my d drive so when you have found out what drive letter is used to store the installation you click in that drive letter so for example here if it was the e drive it would be like this and then you would click um custom size because we're going to enter here enter, enter in here some custom values so click on the drive letter where your game is installed click on custom size and we're going to enter some values here um i'm going to leave that as system managed size because i know it's already on my d drive i've already clicked on custom size and the value i'm using for the initial size is 4048 and the value for the maximum size is 6,000. Um, so again, this, this will take up about six gigs of space on your hard drives, just to be aware of that. But they're the two values I use, the, the, the values I found to work best. So once you've entered in those, you click set, click OK, click apply, and OK and apply again, and it'll look for a system restart. So system will power down, restart, open up your... Um, Call of Duty Warzone game there. Now this will also work with Black Ops and other versions of Call of Duty. So hit play, you know, give it a go, uh, start up the game, hit that Windows key, you know, open up something in the background, change your sound settings, do whatever you want to do, back into the game, try going back out, you know, try it a few times, it should work fine. Now this is not guaranteed to work with all versions 
um, of the game out there. It depends on installs and the system configuration you have. But uh, I've had this on two different PCs, the same issue, and I found this and a laptop. And with this game, I found this solution to work best. Um, so let's give it a try. Hopefully it works for you uh, and solves that annoying problem where you're hitting, as I said, the window key in the middle of a game, either by accident or on purpose. Um, any questions or um, any, you know, if someone else has some helpful settings they've changed, you know, put them in the comments below to help uh, help other people who are watching the video. Listen, thanks very much for work, uh, for watching. And, you know, if you can, please subscribe. And I hope to see you all again in the next video. Thanks again. We are all good here for Warzone. I am so bad at this game, by the way, but um, alas, it is enjoyable to play. Okay, chat later. Thanks for watching. Where is the stop record button?